me like somebody in anybody's scream. Ah, the squirrel's about to dance. Anyway. Everybody. welcome back to my channel it's been since April since I've been on here and let me tell you a lot has happened I'm gonna try to not make this video an hour long because I really could go on and on I have some bullet points I have myself some notes here that I'll be referring to just to let you guys know what I've been up to and kind of really my testimony of 2023 because like I said a lot has happened so let's get to it so the last time you saw me I was at AMEC and the AMEC conference was at the beginning of April. As soon as I came back to the island, um, preparing for comp still, because you saw I was preparing for comp. Um, but comp was like, I think, you know, like the 19th or 20th of April, something like that. So I was preparing for that. Shortly after I came back from AMEC, probably like two days later, I started having like these stomach pains. I just thought it was like a stomach bug, so I was like just letting it slide. Because, like I said, comp was, <laughs> the time was approaching. All right, so I wasn't really, I was, you know, I could handle that later. But, you know, seven, 10 days later goes by and it just is getting worse. Like I would be in the library studying and I just have to pack it up for the day and go home and like lay down and try to do a heating bath, just do certain things that might help. Eating made it hurt, not eating made it hurt. It was just a mess. So eventually I went to the hospital there, said I had gastritis, gave me antibiotic, antibiotics for five days. It was just enough to get me through to comp day. So, still preparing for comp. Long story short, didn't pass. A lot of people didn't pass, but I was concerned about myself. I didn't pass. That was very trying. In between the two semesters, the I guess the spring and summer semester, it was like two weeks of being home. So, I was just crying all day, every day. I was so distraught that this could be happening to me and because of like there was a lot of other things that were happening going on but I don't want to get into all those details but it would just did not seem right <laughs> what was happening I was so distraught because like never failed any semester any block anything like that and then we get to the end and now failing like what what is going on it just was a lot to think that God was just allowing this to happen to me even I would be trying to pray, you know, come from a very praying household. So me and my mom would go and pray together. And, you know, I'd just be praying to God, like, for something to happen. You know, they change the scores and do something, you know, just anything. But um, as a believer, Christian believer, we know that our will is this small compared to God's will for our lives and for everything, right? So, like, in prayer, oftentimes, say, not my will, but your will be done. As soon as I would get to that point in the prayer, I literally, not on purpose, I would just stop talking. And after that happened about like two or three times, I'm like, okay, something in me is like afraid of God's will. Because at that point, I had to come to terms with what if God's will for you is not what you're praying for? What if he, you know, wants you to go back to the island and spend another semester? And to me, it was just like, that it's impossible <laughs> like because there's so many so many repercussions so many things that come with the other semester like financially academically mentally it's just a lot to do that again and so I just couldn't fathom it my mental health spiritual health was just suffering physical health too because still got the gastritis the stomach still hurting every day so but eventually, obviously, I had to go back to the island. And so the entire, that May semester, summer semester was spent preparing for comp again. And so it was hard, it was very hard. Over the first couple weeks of being back on the island, God was just working on me, cause I was just upset. Even going to, oh, I even forgot to mention, even going to the island, literally, I did not have COVID the entire three years that it was a pandemic. I remember the date, May 11, 2023, they, they declared it no longer a pandemic. Why is that the day I go and get COVID on my flight going to St. Martin? I just, <laughs> it was just like, what more can happen? Obviously, I know, you know, a lot more can happen, but it just was a lot piled on top of one another. It was just 
a whole lot a whole lot of. so like the first few weeks that i was there it was hard i was i was not walking around with a smile i was not joyful i was i was a little stank let me be frank <laughs> i was stank because i didn't want to be there and i was just upset that i had to be there but you know god was working on me um still was praying still was trying to seek god and throughout the time i thank god for the holy spirit every time that you know something would happen because literally when I, I hope i wish i was exaggerating literally every day something would happen whether it be you know school the apartment landlord people just the island living something <laughs> would be there to come and just make me annoy that i'm there all over again i had to start encouraging myself because i don't i'm not i don't like living in huh, like <laughs> you know what I mean like dark cloud type of stuff but that's what it was like every day so I just had to start encouraging myself whenever something would happen I just tell myself God is good either out loud or just in my head God is good the, the AC stopped working God is good somebody look at me some type of way God is good I start having to spend money on things I don't want to spend money for because I'm having to moved to another place because mind you i moved out of my the place i was at for two years so we were in a new place um and that just came up a lot so just so oh, much i had to keep encouraging myself god is good god is good god is good because the situation just was not looking good and so like throughout that time it was like god was speaking to my heart like how much are you really going to trust me how much do you believe the words that i said that you know his plans for me are thoughts of good and not of evil that he plans for me to prosper that he's with me throughout the time that i've been on the island you know in all my life but you know speaking of the medical school journey he's been with me and i know he has he's been sustaining me so like how much are you going to trust that you know he's not just going to up and leave me in this situation because god is not circumstantial god is good all of the time even through things despite things because of things whatever happened god is good because he's still going to show up it might not be how you expected or prayed for or whatever but he's going to show up and it's going to be in a way that is good for you this is me speaking to myself but also speaking to you and i started reading this book by um tony evans called the power of names and it goes through like the names of god and that really helped me a lot too because understanding who god is through his names allowed me to understand who he is in my life he's not just god he's yahweh he's jehovah he's el elohim he's all of these things he's creator he's all of these things at the same time so whatever situation i'm going through there's not any part of god that isn't speaking to that situation or that area of my life and so that gradually comforted me and encouraged my soul so that's just an encouragement to somebody anybody somebody anybody, anybody scream ah, the squirrels about dance anyway so hopefully that's an encouragement to somebody that regardless of the situation we can't let our feelings and our emotions about the situation overtake what we know about god some say fake it till you make it some say encourage your spirit i'm gonna go with encourage your spirit I have to say God is good he hasn't left you this that and the third to because the situation was not looking how I thought it should look <laughs> it was looking a little crazy so, so but I had to talk to myself encourage myself because my my feelings and my emotions they have to catch up to this faith okay <laughs> because this is what I know is true my feelings and my emotions y'all have to get on board <laughs> all right so hopefully that is encouraging to somebody and even in the season that i'm in now even being able to tell this testimony now it's encouraging to me still because literally and truthfully god is good and he has a plan for everything so it's just for us to trust in that and really surrender okay so may semester still going on still got the gastritis <laughs> Still a pain all day every day come back home for like a few days um i got an endoscopy and then like some other doctor appointments that i had to go to um yep i had the gastritis i was on a two-week course of like four medication like antibiotics i don't even remember everything i was on but four medications four times a day 
it was a lot <laughs> taking meds every day and multiple times a day is not is not cute so thank god for health today i'm thankful for god to god for help so that resolved after the two weeks also through the endoscopy found out i have eosinophilic esophagitis so random <laughs> <laughs> but I had that literally in our like lecture notes and stuff because we learned about it it's like one slide in our lecture notes like you don't we don't really learn about it like that so it was just like so random like of course I would I would have that be because why not but yeah I got that so I had to be on some diet technically I'm still supposed to be on it but your girl gotta eat so hey it is it, you know God it is well so anyway <laughs> fast forward to the end two comps we have two chances of comp um at this time i started having a lot of anxiety i always had like test jitters like just a little like ooh, wonder what's gonna be like type of thing <laughs> and then two three questions into the exam like i'm chill these two comps the entire time of the comp the comp is five hours the entire time heart racing literally hand shaking super like super duper anxiety that just came out of nowhere for real because i've never had anxiety like that and it was just so it was just felt so debilitating the enemy was trying to try me that's what it was literally i would hear the i would try to use the ear plugs that they give you to like you know so you don't hear everybody's clicking and stuff i'm hearing my heartbeat loud in my ear so it's like i just can't escape escape it it was a lot but god but I tell you, he's good. He's a good and faithful father. Fast forward to the glory of God, past comp. Finally got to leave the island. Don't ever gotta go back. Glory. So now I'm home. So now we're in September, October, November. Setting for step. Because we have to take, at our school, we have to take step before step one. Before we progress to clinicals. So I had to take step because I wanted to start clinicals in January so I was preparing for that and technically comp is like mini step it's all the same material comp and step so it was just continuing the studying that I was already doing so at this point I've been studying for step since March March to September October that's a long time so and then not only was it, is it a long time and I was just fatigued it's very different having to study on your own like and on your own as in like no other students around studying i i'm at home in jersey i rented a um co-working space so it was it was a shared office with like two people with like businesses one was never there the other just come like occasionally from like 10 to 2 but it literally was just me on my own in a room studying all day every day 8 a.m to 10 p.m. every day and it was ta taxing taxing it was taxing for my mind and mentally because it just was like I've been doing this for months I'm alone now it just ugh, it just felt like a drag but I have to keep going like we have to pass that and at the same time a lot of personal stuff was happening too so there was times of like just distractions and like it just was a lot going on all at once fast forward to exam week like i said i've always been someone that has like test jitters right so i think that contributes to the fact that i'm always gonna study up until i'm walking out my apartment matter of fact even as i'm walking to the exam room i'm gonna be on my phone looking at stuff like i just never was one of those people like oh the day before i don't study that i was not that girl ever <laughs> in life <laughs> um just yeah i just never was that girl but literally the day before step the step the biggest exam i've ever taken in my life and the most important thus far i had so much peace like i couldn't i would <laughs> there would be times where because i had to take it like two hours away so i got a hotel so i was in the hotel and i'd just be you know chilling watching tv or like i don't know scrolling on tiktok or something then i then i think like wait you have stuff like i tried not i guess i don't want to say try but i'd be reminded of like what's happening and like oh wait i should i should go study like i should and then i remember like lara you prayed for this you prayed for this peace and you prayed for to just be prepared and God to take control. And that's what he's giving you right now. He gave me a peace I do not understand. Okay. <laughs> and that's what the word says. When we do it, he doesn't lie. 
he gave me a piece <laughs> and like there was times where my flesh would try to like make me frantic again and that I'd be remembered, I'd be reminded, no, rest in this piece. And so I rested in it the day before and the day of. The day of exam, again, I had peace. I wasn't like all jittery, anxiety, I didn't have any anxiety. And the day was just like, cool, mellow. Fast forward, the day before Thanksgiving, got my score, and your girl passed. <laughs> pass to the glory of God and let me just tell you God God passed for me because I just know he was all in and throughout the whole process it it was a long journey I I try to condense it but a lot happened in these past six eight months and I know that he's been with me throughout the time even when it was looking crazy to me from my eyes but that's even a thing in itself god let me see what you see in this situation because the world is telling me that this looks crazy but i want to see what you see and god really showed me what he saw throughout all of this once my heart posture turned to that instead of like focusing on all the bad and stuff but yeah that's my testimony i went to thailand had an amazing trip i think i should add some clips or whatever after this, you want to go? Get closer. You're going to have to drop. Yeah. Very good. Okay. 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 starting clinicals in January and so by the end of this month this is December by the end of this month I'm going to be moving to where my clinicals is and I'm gonna show you guys the apartment and how I set it up it's a little studio it's gonna be cute once I set it up and yeah I have more content that will be coming when I start clinicals but I'm happy to be back hopefully you missed me and hopefully truthfully I just hope and pray that any point of this was encouraging to somebody even when I was going through what I was going through that's why I didn't pick up no camera because there were times where I just didn't have anything good to say and I didn't want to bring <laughs> like any weird energy and I did know that once I was on the other side and I had a testimony that I had to share it sometimes we have to be reminded that there's a wider view of the situation than what we're just seeing and that wider view is a more beautiful view God's view. and I do hope that you if you haven't already you can subscribe to my channel like the video and comment your favorite part or any testimony that you have if you got a testimony put that down below I would love to read those more to come in 2024 and I hope and pray to see you then bye